Thank you, everyone, for taking time out of your day to come and celebrate these inductees. Without your contributions, I know that this achievement would not be possible. Although I never met my dad's most influential role model, my grandfather, Earl Woods, I feel like I can hear his voice every day, reminding me to train hard, fight easy. This is an old Special Forces saying that he ingrained into my dad, who now says it to Charlie and I. It not only teaches us that we have to put in the hard work to get what we want, but it's that hard work that will pay off in the end. In 2007, my dad found himself in position to make an 18-foot putt to force a US Open, US Open playoff, which he missed by a foot. He then had a rush to the airport, fly from Pittsburgh to Orlando, and drive to the Winnie Palmer Hospital. Within five minutes of walking into the hospital room, still wearing his red golf shirt, on June 18th, I was born. He may have lost that day, but he won the greatest gift of all. <laughs> His continual presence has been a significant pattern throughout our relationship. Whether it's on FaceTime or school pickup or violin concerts or when we fail to teach our dogs tricks, he's always there. And it's been at the soccer fields and golf tournaments over the years that Charlie and I have begun to realize how famous he actually is. I mean, how can a guy who still FaceTimes his friends to discuss Marvel and DC timelines, and who goes to Comic-Con dressed as Batman, be one of the greatest golfers that ever lived. On a family trip to the Bahamas one year, we jumped into the ocean and started swimming along a reef. At first, we only saw a couple of jellyfish, but then we noticed more and more. And after an epic battle with a swarm of jellies, we wound up having to having to cover ourselves with anti-itch cream. This did not deter us. We still went on diving and finding hermit crabs on the beach for the rest of our vacation. I realized while writing this speech that no matter what life throws our way, we somehow come out together and stronger. You know, trade hard, fight easy. Recently, Daddy had trained harder than ever about a year ago, you were stuck in a hospital bed at one of your ultimate lows, at one of the scariest moments of your life and ours. We didn't know if you'd come home, if, if we didn't know if you'd come home with two legs or not. Now, you're not only about to be inducted into the Hall of Fame, but you're standing here on your own two feet. This is why you deserve this, because you're a fighter. You've defied the odds every time, being the first black and Asian golfer to win a major, being able to win your fifth Masters after multiple back surgeries, and being able to walk just a few months after your crash. Through thick and thin, you, Charlie, Erica, Cunha, and I will always be a team. Dad, I inducted you into the Dad Hall of Fame a long time ago. But today, I am so proud to present my dad, Tiger Woods, into the World Golf Hall of Fame.